Hey everyone, exciting news. Samsung's pushed out the One UI Beta 5. So this is the One UI 8 Beta 5 for your Galaxy S25 Ultra. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the new features, check out if we've got any bugs, see what's new in the update. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I just went ahead and installed the beta. Uh, this is available for the Galaxy S25 Ultra right now. This is the One UI 8 Beta 5 that Samsung pushed out. And this might be our final beta, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the new features they've added. They did add the dynamic clock, which is super cool, which we're gonna go over. And we did get the suggested wallpapers under the gallery setting. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. So first of all, let's jump into the update here. We're just gonna go down to our software update. And so this is released today. This particular update ends in ZYH6. And this brings us our August 1st security patch. And this is a fairly large install. So this is uh, 1.8 gigabytes. This is, I'm hoping that this is gonna be our last beta and then we'll have the official release, but we're still waiting to find out. Let's see, so we've got some bug fixes here. So bugs that have been fixed are, they've applied the August security patch, which we just said. They fixed the hotspot connection error improve the issue of lock screen clock font size getting smaller. So there is a glitch there uh, that's been fixed. Modified S Pen error command exception. Don't know exactly what that one is. I haven't had an experience with that. Fix an issue that does not appear in the quick setting window. Improve the issue of overlapping quick setting windows and notification window. Modify the exception when capturing the screen in the app in the security folder. Improve the problem of storing and post-processing color purple when shooting 100 times zoom moon. So this was talked about on X. If you took a picture of the moon with 100 times zoom on the last beta, that moon was all purple, which is kind of cool. But if you jump over on X, you can see some of those. I didn't personally do it, but I have read about that. Fix the issue of the do not disturb mode initialization. Fix the issue of the now brief briefing disappearing. And we've got stabilization of software throughout app updates. So we're gonna jump right into the Galaxy Store, see if there's any new updates for our apps. I did update the apps before I installed the beta latest. So this is beta five. We're gonna jump into our Galaxy Store real quick. And we'll go here to menu and updates. Let's see if there's anything in here. And it doesn't look like there's anything in here, so it must have updated everything that needed to be updated. There was quite a few Samsung application updates. So let's first talk about the lock screen with the dynamic clock, which we've all been waiting for, at least I have. I have the Z Fold 7. With the Z Fold 7, it comes with the official One UI 8. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this. So we're just gonna go ahead and go into our wallpaper. So we'll go to wallpaper and style, and then we're gonna go ahead and select the lock screen. And you can see there's that dynamic clock. And let's go ahead and just change the wallpaper to something different here. We'll go ahead and jump into our pictures and let's just find something that's got some adjustments to it. Usually animals are a really good one to do got a let's see I've got this guy here let's see if this works so we've got this chameleon and you can see it just adjusted there so depending on where the clock is positioned you can go ahead and drag and you can see that there's still a bit of a little bit of a glitch there when you're adjusting that clock so if we move it up over here you can see it doesn't really do an adjustment but it just kind of does it wherever it wants to it's kind of weird See if we make this, let's go ahead and put it right here. And so if you click on that clock before we didn't have this new option that was enabled. So that is the dynamic clock. So you have to make sure that you pick a style. So let's just pick a style here. And then we can go back here and then click on that. And you can see now you can make adjustments 
and that one actually works a lot better. I actually like that one better. So you can see you've got that dynamic clock there. I do know that there has been some bugs reported. So far, it looks like it's working pretty well. Eh, there's a little bit of a glitch maybe there, depending on what you're doing. But I kind of like that one there. You can adjust it different sizes. So we'll go ahead and click done there. And then let me show you what it looks like from the lock screen. So if we are on just our regular lock screen, go ahead and activate that. You can see we've got that dynamic clock, which is super cool. I really like that. I do know that I think there was a report of if you're using Lockstar, which is one of the good lock modules, you have to make sure that you're updated to the latest one or it will not work. I'm not currently using Lockstar right now, um, but I did hear of some reports there. Let's go ahead and jump into our now brief. So we've got the now brief here and let's see if we get the, no, it doesn't look like it. So we don't have the read back here, which is unfortunate on the Z Fold 7, which I've got right here. Let me just go ahead and show you real quick. So if we go into our now brief and so in here in the now brief let me go ahead i don't have it enabled on here i don't use it that often honestly if we go ahead and jump into settings we can go down to i believe it's under our display there we go that's our now bar what's super cool about samsung if you don't know where something's at like this you can just go ahead and search for it and so here is our now brief and these are all the different things that are included with the now brief which is pretty cool so let me just go ahead and add this real quick let's add the now brief widget and anyway um oh there it is <laughs> it's right there okay so let's just go ahead and add the now brief over on the page here so if we click on the now brief you can see we've got this little icon up here and this will actually read back to you what is on the now brief so as you can see here on the s25 ultra on the one ui 8 beta 5 we don't have that yet so hopefully that's coming it's either going to be in the next beta release if there's going to be one or it'll be in the official but that will read back to you all the information here let's go ahead and jump into let me just go ahead and jump into good luck real quick so here is lock star let me go ahead and just install that real quick so you can see what that looks like. You're running the S25 Ultra and you've got the One UI Beta 4. Make sure to go and check. You're just going to swipe down. You're going to go into your settings. You can either go, you can do this one of two ways. If you're on the beta, you just go into the Samsung Members app. And I've showed this in other videos. So all you have to do is just click on that beta program. You should have a little orange dot there to indicate. If you click on that, you'll see under the beta notices that fifth beta was released on August 19th, which I'm filming on August 19th. Then you can go ahead and just do check for software updates and that will go ahead and install that beta on there. So let's go ahead and see if we've got the Okay, so we've got Lockstar. Okay, so this should be the latest. So you can see that we do have, you can see that the dynamic clock is still working with Lockstar. So just make sure you download the latest one if you are using Lockstar so that you can take advantage of that dynamic clock, which I just think is super cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features here. Okay, so the next feature is the suggested wallpaper. So if you go into your wallpaper and style and we go to change wallpapers, you can see now we have that suggested images down here. So we can actually click on that and that'll show you different images that it suggests. Didn't have that on beta four. The official release does have this. So this is super cool. This just kind of brings up some different suggestions for you. So like I've got my dog right here if I want to go ahead and throw her on the lock screen. Let's go ahead and just throw her on there and see what happens when we adjust there. And you can see we are getting that dynamic clock adjustment a little bit there. Depending on where you position this, it may or may not show the same positioning each time or the same adjustment. So you can see like, as I make this smaller, it will make different adjustments as you move that clock around, kind of around her ears, make it a bit bigger. And you'll see that it just kind of 
wants to adjust however it works. And then once you're done, you can just go ahead and click on done there. And with Lockstar, you get all those extra features. You can add the, uh, the stickers, you can add, oh, that's one of the things kind of cool with Lockstar. So if you didn't know this, you can actually press and hold on the lock screen and this will open up your options here. It's loading Lockstar. So if we click on Lockstar, you've got these different options here. So with Lockstar, you can do app widgets on the lock screen. So if you didn't know that, super cool. So you just go in here and pick any widget you want. So let's just say we want this one here. So I can actually add this widget anywhere on my lock screen if I want. You can also, which is really cool, is you can go in here and you can actually do stickers. So if you have stickers, so I've got like a, let's do this little Spider-Man dude here. So you could actually add those stickers right onto your lock screen as well. So you have a lot of customizations with Lockstar. Uh, if you haven't gotten it, definitely check it out. Go and download it on the Play Store. Uh, you'll need to download Good Lock if you haven't used that before. I'll uh, link a video up here on how to use that. But if you're enjoying the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and click that bell notification so you're updated when new videos get uploaded. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably want to check out this video over here. Or it might be over here. Appreciate you watching as always, and we'll catch you in our next video.